Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the insane playthrough, blind playthrough that is, where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty without having played it before. Gears Tactic it continues to give on and on and on. We're in Act 3, Chapter 4 by now and it's time for some new and illustrative side missions for are here and we need to play three out of them two of which offer us legendary gear and you know how i feel about legendary gear i absolutely love it we're going to start with a more difficult one uh, crimson avalanche where we need to hold two zones for at least three turns or three or more turns it says here and we are then going to get some legendary weapon mod in order to do that, we're going to take our prime team. Uh, that is going to be Sid and Gabe, uh, Quincy, Tank, Allison, and Michaela uh, to really go through that, plus Jack. I would say these are uniquely qualified in order to do it. The one thing that I am not sure about is how well we can hold all of the objectives. I might want to think about giving Sid Redburn here the Disrupt Overwatch uh, mod for the weapon. I mentioned the last time that we do have uh, the uh, Swift uh, mod, but there is a Legendary Disruption mod. And if we're just needing to keep enemies away from us, the Overwatch is actually even better with Disruption. So without further ado, I think we're ready to deploy and get this party started. Three turns means we cannot afford any mistakes. We've got solid intel on a couple supply sites in the vicinity. So do the grubs, I'm guessing. Lock those goods down and bring them home intact. Good. Time to go into mission Crimson Avalanche. I think it's the same typical two points hold zone. At least it appears like that. Yep. Uh, looks incredibly familiar. They Go. Interestingly enough, they have this time shifted time uh, the whole work. scenery a bit. I think at least. Yeah, so this here usually was 90 degrees um, turned. Because that side looked into that direction and this here was 90 degrees turned as well a matter of fact completely uh, mirrored at the uh, vertical axis because that was down here so a change will oh yeah and we do have high ground here so that change will make it a tiny bit more difficult interesting changes can't get up here onto the balcony but we can get up there. They have taken away the high ground here. So yeah, the, so this here is high ground up here. We got one crate over there. One crate over there. And the typical crate over there. No high ground here. Just trying to see where we position our sniper. This here would be perfect. But unfortunately, that's not how the world works. Sometimes you don't get perfect. Up here is good enough, I suppose. A lot of high ground back here as well. So if we were to sprint, it's actually not a bad place to shoot from here down to here and to here. But it is super exposed from the back. <laughs> So we're going to take an aggressive push. In the first round, none of the enemies are there. It's just crates for an uh, now. Sid is going to defend the position over here. Rushing in. Standing by. What's next? He just takes the middle position in yep. here. 
I think tank will be the one that is actually going to uh, defend the very point. And Michaela takes the high ground. It wouldn't be a surprise if we're seeing someone landing right away. Yep, that happened every single time so far. Boomer plus Berserker plus a couple of Ratches. If we get the Boomer down and get the Boomstick, that would be a huge advantage for us. Moving in for extra run and gun damage. Fantastic. Support on hand. Dia supports. A boost for you. Good. We now got all of them inside, which is exactly what we wanted. Jack is continuing to move up because I want the second crate. Ready. Good, and now we need some really good hits. Should have... Hmm. Should have given the sniper aura. That's the only thing that I just failed to do. Oh, we cannot use any grenades. Okay, cool. That's the first critical hit. We are good. Let's continue to hit this guy. Two more hits and we are looking good. Let's kill him. Low on, ammo. Low on ammo means we're reloading. Drop down. Let's do a critical hit here. That's good. Yes, for once takes a, takes a nice little shot as well. You and me, asshole. Moving. Yeah. Sid moves up. And tank moves up. I think unfortunately only got this here as an overwatch. On it. Not the perfect one. Here. The angles didn't really tie out. But this here should be good for a distraction at least. Alright, Sniper Aura was a bit of a mistake. Yep, that interruption is great. Okay, Sniper Aura, yes please. Bit of an oversight to not do that nice one, right away. Jack continues to go for the crate. Go ahead. Exactly, now we do have an 80% chance to to hit this guy. I to crit this guy, sorry. Okay, that's good enough for now. En route. Diaz moves up. Yeah, 
And that will be a reload well for everybody. Acknowledged. Sid takes the boomstick. Go ahead. Don't want to start over here yet. So we're just moving a bit in. What's up? I'm Very on soon it. we're going to take that high ground. What's next? And hmm. I think Sid uh Gabe here might be moving also over here and just takes crossfire. This middle section isn't too bad. Yep. Bring it on, I'm ready. Grub, get ready. Alright, next turn. I don't know, we're already seeing them coming. Quite difficult packs that we have to deal with, but I think we're going to be fine. All right, we're up. Let's start with Jack. Picks Waiting up the orders. second crate. I read you. Copy. All right, so what are we going to do with all of you? Uh -huh. This is not triggering that side yet. Okay, if we're if we're critting, that would refill all of her action points. So hold your match shot it is. There we go. It was a 80% chance uh, that that would happen. And the reason why I wanted to do it is I want to prevent them from moving in. And one safe way of doing that is Overwatch to just keep them really, really busy. Jack took the last crate. Moving over here and helping. Next turn, we're going to start yeah. collecting. All right, I'm in place. Scanning now. All right, that is one. Can the keep all of this here? The answer is yes. Very good overwatch for uh, from him as well. So we should be fine. Oh, smart, smart. Guy's problem. Time to ruin your day. Let's kick some ass. Okay. Well, I told you Stay we're going road. to move in. Triple kill over here. Sling and lead. <laughs> Very nice. And if I percent chance to hit.
Let's take the high ground. Gives us some extra damage. And there is a good chance that we're actually going to kill this guy. Almost. Fast fingers. Tell me someone's taking pictures. Wow, she's she's just doing so much damage. Come through here. I did. We got that th uh, third crate. I wanted to take it earlier, but I couldn't. Um, for now, it's not optimal. But Jack is going to move here. The reason why I Ready. couldn't is I wanted to use that explosive and also start collecting to get that uh, that uh, hold the position of both for three turns. Let's do it. Yeah, we can't use grenades, apparently. Well, that's fine. I'm wondering if we... If we can hit this guy. can't give ourselves um, empower potentially be a bit broken to do that can't charge in either so I mean what we can do is essentially Setting prevent him zone. from moving further and keep all of this here nice and covered they do have the chance to move over Not here, but um, that would be too far of a move to actually do something. I'm not afraid uh, of the partial hits. Just want that. Uh, want to see them interrupted. That's all. Can we move over here and see the other side? The answer is potentially not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Think about how to deal with that for now. Hey. For now, let's use suppression fire. Got him suppressed. That means even if we don't hit, this guy cannot move in further. Let's do it. Which is good. to walk into the overwatch either so standing over here isn't bad because none of them can flank us and we do have full cover on my way and over that extra action None of them can move to here, so might as well focus on that choke point. I'm listening. Look, it's a 50-50, right?
Might as well give it one try and then overwatch. Damn. So it reload because Cover we're going to get one more turn, uh, one more AP from overwatching, and that Kill would have meant stop. we had four AP and just three ammunition, which of course we don't want to do. There is another unique weapon, the Torque Bow. But I think we're fine with the Boomstick for now. So, end turn it is. Nice little interruption. And even a kill. Ooh, the Berserk had been hit nicely. Back in your hole. Let's start with the obvious. little hit there 100% 60% 60% okay well tell you what well nicely into cover with a 50% with a 50% hit bonus uh, damage bonus there's the critical hit we were hoping for that should be another one Almost. Uh, oh no, we only have 40% chance for critical hit. Alright, because sniper aura is off. That makes sense. Uh -huh. There we go, baby. Jack could move into here, but we gotta be a bit careful because this guy here can attack. Um. But what we can do is we can overwatch and make sure that he I has a Overwatch. really, really poor time. Then hand over healing aura. I owe you one, Jack. And we're just going to become invisible. Later, Jack. Good. This side here looks fine for now, but that can change quite rapidly. The Deviant Hammer Burst drone here with the Bloodthirsty Aura might become a problem. Sixty percent chance to hit. Let's give it some more tries. <laughs> That was the critical hit I was hoping for. And that's three overwatches. If the guy comes in, he will regret it deeply. Just in case he sprints further forwards, we got overwatch. He could go around here, which is fine. But he will not reach the zone in one turn. And there's the interrupt I was hoping for. I'm so grateful that I took that interrupt. Should be about halfway done. Almost done now. Stay the course. Help both apply points for three consecutive turns is done, which is great. That's the legendary okay. item we were hoping for. 100% uh, chance to hit, but not 100% chance to crit. Can we change that? No, we cannot. 
Let's hope for it nonetheless. I've got nothing. Out of ammunition. Reloading here. Fresh reload, 25% damage bonus. Down and out. Jack begins to move in. And I would say boomstick. Uh, boomstick is better than having nothing. I was hoping we might get the torque bow, but that has despawned already. I'm listening. Reloading, cover me. Now then. Good. So far, I think we have it nicely under control. Ready for Got some more. decent reloads over here. Yeah, can't really kill him yet. On it. But we could overwatch. Jack here begins Keep to up, emit an aura. On overwatch. And this guy will die. On the left hand side we're going to see another drop soon. And on the right hand side we everybody has already died. So we're seeing that extra drop. The second aura and Jack makes himself invisible. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Good sniper, three shots to go. And Stand we got a boomstick. Eye. So boomstick one. Nice little shell shock. Boomstick two. And we might keep him Copy. in reserve just in case we need an overwatch. There is the first critical hit. There is the second one. And that little pole here is really in the way. Just detract him, minus 50% damage, so that if he Heavy fires one, uh, one of his grenades, it's just going to hit Sid. I'm here. I'll stop him. And this hopefully will teach him a lesson. On the other flank, we're looking good. Now then. Got my eyes peeled. All right, this could be the end of the mission already. That's what you get. Yeah, Sid luckily has the damage reduction. I think that's already the mission, right? Yeah, we're done. Easy. Much more easy than I would have thought it would be. But the Prime team, I'm, I'm finally getting used to the skills of everybody. They are synergizing quite well. And both of the 
both of the um, damage dealers are dealing just a fantastic amount of damage every round. Sid is really, really strong and just holding a position, tanking that bad, badass 75% uh, um, reduction plus evasion plus all of uh, the shenanigans pays out. He's taken barely 100 points of damage from, uh, from the grenade from full uh, point blank. Gabe. Uh, is a great support. I like the whole interaction with his ability point, uh, with his action points. So I'm wondering if you skill them even better than I do. What you can do with such a team. In terms of opening, what are we looking at? Expertise. That seems great. Heavyweight is good. That's straight up damage reduction. Double down is good because I think that is extra damage and hardened was damage reduction or evasion. So let's take a look what we have got. Uh, oh, well, we cannot take a look because the guys are traveling. Never mind, I suppose, which brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, and I will keep the loot secret or hidden for now. Um, it's going to be a surprise. For all of us, not potentially not for those of you who know what each of uh, the modifiers are, but we got a legendary and quite a few epic loot items, an epic helmet and some epic boots, so I think we can upgrade some of our gear. Anyways, uh, next time we're going to look at Blistering Eclipse, where we are trying to get yet another legendary armor item. And this time it is going to be Marcella, who is uh, soloing that mission. And then whoever is left open uh, would be deployed on the other missions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And I see you in the next episode. Bye bye.